Hello, my name is Kent Trammell. I am a digital artist specializing in modeling, texture painting, and rendering. Uh, this video is in response to those of you, uh, particularly on YouTube, who have asked for a tutorial about creating and implementing blend shapes, or at least my method of doing so. Uh, my goal is to explain the concept of achieving organic motion with these linear blend shapes. Um, this video is not meant to be a hand-holding guide for creating a full facial rig. It would be way too long, and uh, it's been hard enough to find time to just do this quick video, which hopefully it'll be that quick and to the point, um, a demonstration with my Steve Carell base mesh, um, which you can see my final product in my demo reel, little plug there. Um, I'll be sculpting a smile in ZBrush, um, after exporting the base mesh from Maya, then after ZBrush, exporting it out and reapplying the new mesh as a blend shape in Maya. Okay, so we're going to get started in Maya, and uh, here's my base mesh. Um, again, this was all created for my demo reel, um, and so this was specifically created with blend shapes in mind, and you'll want to do that if you want to do a blend shape um, driven facial rig. Um, you know, you'll want to keep in mind edge loops to, to um, allow yourself uh, room for deformation. Um, for like, uh, for example, in the, um, the wrinkles of the forehead, um, let's see, over here, you can see it's got some, some wrinkles coming out of the crow's feet area. So, you know, I'll put some edge loops in there and uh, also around the bags of the eyes, um, the uh, tear duct area. And of course, well, just overall around the eye in general, and um, around the mouth, of course, there, there's those are needed. Um, but I've kind of I've gotten a little crap, a little bit of crap for for my uh, mesh. Um, there's some problems. So you're supposed to have a loop that goes from the chin all the way through this nose, um, right above the nostril. I was told. So keep that in mind. And also. This Adam's apple is not good. Don't don't do this. But I mean, I wasn't too worried about it. All right, so this is a, a decent base mesh to get started with. Um, again, I created it with the purpose of blend shapes um, in the back of my mind. Um, okay, so from here we will just export it to the desktop, and we will just call it base mesh. And uh, I like. OBJs. I know the new ZBrush, I guess, does MBs with the GoZ business, but I don't, uh, I don't dabble with that. Okay, so uh, over here in ZBrush, we will uh, set up our workspace, and um, we'll go ahead and import what we just exported, the base mesh. And um, personally, I work in perspective mode, um, unless it's a direct side profile. Um, or you know direct front but even still it's for the preliminary modeling um, I don't like orthographic uh, just the definition that I have looked up calls it a hypothetical and theoretical um, view uh, like a perspective so therefore it doesn't actually exist in real life so why would you sculpt you know realistic stuff in that mode but anyway that's my own personal thing if you do better in orthographic then I mean, you're the artist, so it's your choice. And, um, you know, usually for a an open mouth smile or, you know, I also do my, my open jaws as blend shapes um, versus rigging them with joints and things. Um, uh, you would, I would usually put my teeth in there as a subtool. And um, that way when I open my mouth, you know, I would have more realistic motion um, around those teeth and it would slot, look like it slides across the teeth. Uh, versus going through it. But um, for this one, we're not going to uh, put the teeth in. We're not going to open the mouth. That just takes a little bit more time. And this is uh, to focus on the concept of, of blend shapes and stuff, not necessarily, you know, a full facial rig. Um, okay, so in here, you, uh, I, I always use the move tool, um, especially for build blend shapes, because, um, you know, a smile is like a, it's a pulling of the corners of the mouth and um, you know therefore it's it's a it's moving motion and so the move tool is 
is money in the bank for that and uh, actually for a lot of modeling but anyway um, so for here we'll just get started and make it broad motions so that it affects um, a larger area at first and then shrink down your brush so you can get more um, subtle modeling going on um, but, you know you just start out pu pulling it up and uh, um, oh crap uh, for the for this one, it's going to be mirrored. It's going to be the exact same uh, thing on both sides. Um, now in Maya, you can go in and separate that, uh, separate it to two halves, and I'll show you how to do that. It's a little little complex, I guess, for when you have a lot of geometry. But uh, so we'll do that one more time and pull it up. And uh, the best thing to do for reference, you know, I've got pictures and stuff but um, the best thing to do is just pop open um, uh, photo booth or what if you're using Windows whatever you can do with a, a, a camera or a mirror I mean really and just uh, look at yourself and what the motion does here I've taken a video of myself and um, one thing that's good about blend shapes and why I think it works so well for a, a realistic facial rig is that uh, if you look it's very linear. It's from one shape to the next. It's there's not these big arcing, you know, exaggerated arcing motions. It's just from there to there. You know, it's very linear, and um, and that that's great because that's how blend shapes work. They don't you, they don't have a curve editor or anything to go in there. You can do half shapes, but you know that's just adding complexity. But um, you know, a lot of the facial motion is is linear, and that's why I I love blend shapes. Um, but uh, in, over here, I've got you know a s quick video of Steve Carell from The Office doing a, a smile. Now this one looks a little more curvy, um, but I think it's because he's got a, this pucker face going on, and then it goes into the smile, and that look gives it a little bit more curve. But still, overall, it's closer to linear than it is to a curving arc, which kind of you know doesn't defy, but kind of goes against the a animation principle of you know arcs, one of the, the famous twelve principles. Or whatever so um all right so in here we'll just continue sculpting this this shape and uh keep in mind the smile specifically is not just out to the sides um it's pulled back uh from this angle probably shows the best it goes from you know here to to back along the face rather than out and um so we'll just keep moving it up and um also notice from this uh kind of three quarters view this uh, his cheeks start to to plume out and inflate and guess what we've got a tool for that so we will uh, go in and start inflating his cheeks a bit and um, we can just kinda eyeball and see that it spans out here so um, we'll just keep inflating that up and try and 